Is that him? That's, oh my God. Tell him we got him, all right? They said they got him. You gonna come get the rest? We gonna, we gonna keep coming back. Keep, you know, you get all of them. We will. We're gonna keep catching them all, all right? Take all of them. We're gonna do whatever it takes, all right? Okay. Cannibal. Exactly. I don't think he has a choice right now. No, don't oh, go that wow. way. Dude, this is incredible, man. Incredible. You're able to see what the naked eye cannot see with the technology. Not today, Iguana. Not today, Iguana. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, what? Look at that female. Get his girl. Great shot. Oh, oh. Ooh. Great shot. No problem. Oh, I got her. You got her. I gotta focus on the third one. Hone in. Got it through the thermal. You can see the whole black, the whole black body. Dude, that that's big. money. That thing is big there. Oh my. Dude. Oh! Look at the side of his head. Oh! Ooh. Headshot there! <laughs> Headshot there! <laughs> Sniped him! You got him on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to be the That was my last shot, too. Nice. He's got to be. So, this Burris BTS 50. Mm -hmm. We've never, Burris has never put it, I've never put it on a, on a, on a spring air rifle. And one of the biggest things in the community is how will the harmonics on a spring air, air rifle affect the uh, digital scopes. Yeah. Because we all know spring air rifles are tough on scopes. Right, right. So, so far it's holding zero. Uh, nice. And I told Burris I was doing this and I said, it's never been done, so let's test it and see. Dude. So far we're doing great. Uh, I do notice one thing because of all the, the high humidity out here yeah. in Florida. I'm, have, I'm having to calibrate it a lot so it stays clear. Okay, okay. Uh, that's one thing about thermals and high humidity, that moisture holds heat. Ah. So it tends to get, it can get a little bit grainy, a little bit off color. So you just hit the calibration button and it recalibrates automatically so you can see it. That's, one in the that's awesome, dude. There. One side here. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go, boys. And there's one in the tree. Hopefully it comes back. Really? We're in the tree while he's in the tree. Too hard with the branches. Especially when they go up there, they think they're hiding so they don't move as much. We got a small guy right here. We got two of them right here, dude. All right, let's see freehand if I can do this. All right, get him. Got a sleeper right there. They're just taking naps out here, dude. That's the issue, dude. Ooh. That was a hit. Ooh. That was a hit. Get him again. Get him again. Okay. Get him again. That was night, night. That was it. Night, night. Good shot. Good news, dude. Look at this iguana, bro. Oh, that thing is big. It's a big, bad alpha. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll come a little bit to the right. Yep. Exactly. Got him. There he is right there. Got him. Two headshots. Thermal right there, right? Yeah. Here you go, bud. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you can see there's tracks right here, boys. You see that? You see the tail marks and the claw marks? Yeah. It's like... Yeah. Oh, I see it. And, uh, one and one, I remember the one. There's 
one in this tree right here. That was it right there, dude. Check this out. We have a raccoon in this tree right here. He's right there. You see his fur. And we have one iguana that got away. And he, uh, so the, the raccoon guys, basically, whatever iguanas uh, that swim away and they die, you know, we're trying to recover as many of them as we can. Obviously, we're by the water and this is kind of dangerous terrain. But whatever we don't get, there are raccoons out here. There are vultures out here. There are things out here to eat the iguanas that we cannot get. Gotta Everything's got to eat, right, guys. This is the biggest one of the day, boys. You want to grab them? So far. Grab them by the tail. Oh, he doesn't really have a tail, but... Uh, oh, yeah, his tail's gone. Oh, wow. Cool. No tail? Yep. Nope. He's missing piece of it. It's starting to grow back. Yeah. He shredded his tail. You want to throw tail. it over the fence to make it easy and we can get it when we go back through? Ugh. Nice. I think like an animal tried to eat it. You want to throw so that one back there too, bud? Yeah, throw that, Travis. Throw that one. Oh, Travis. Just throw him over the fence. Yeah. Little. Oh, yeah. Nice. He's hiding behind a little rock. Let's see if I can get to him. Where did he go? No, no, I see his tail. Just sticking up right there. There's two on that tree. Yeah, there's one on the small one right there. They're trying to get the dead iguanas and bring them back. Cannibals. Exactly. Oh, he's one. Huh. That was it, dude. Rock right in front of him. Yep. You did get him. Look, now he's popping his head open. Oh! Ooh. He's going here. Hold this. Hold this. Uh, it's okay. He's right there. That was a fatal mistake on his behalf. Ooh. You did get him. Look, now he's popping his head open. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Let's clean up. Hey, ducks. Y'all want to try to catch a duck? This is the easiest duck catch right here. They're against the fence. They can't do anything. Whacking you. He's you webbing. Know, look at that headshot right here. He's webbing with your tail. Yeah, no, nah, critical. And he's still critical, oh. critical. Two, two, head, two of them right he's there. He's webbing you with your It happens, his bud. Tail. It happens. Okay. Look at the pelican. It happens. Uh, I got him. I got him. We'll go over there. Oh, never mind. He's got it. Okay, Oh, shoot. Whoa. All right. Let's recover them, y'all. Let's go recover all of them. And we'll be right back. All right, dude. So we got one iguana. Two. All right, we've got to take out this last one to seal the deal. Oh, I turned off my scope. I'll turn it back on here. It takes a second to turn. Okay. Oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Come on, scope. Turn on. Oh my God. Dude, you can clock him right there. Come on, turn off. Oh my god. Dude, that thing is monstro. There we go. Oh no. Don't put your head that way. That was right to the bed. That was it. That was it. He's toast. 
Oh, you got him. I got him. You got him. I got him. Watch out, Travis. You got him. He's yeah, he's leading. I don't think he has a choice right now. No, don't oh, go that wow. way. Oh wow. Into his head. That's right under his dude. He's looking right at us. Yeah. Right there, dude. Finish him. Oh, he's blocked. Oh yeah, he's. Yeah. Yeah. He's. Oh, let's go. We got him. Dude. All right, boys. He's coming. He's coming in hot. Coming in hot. Might be a lot. Oh, that thing is big. That thing is huge, boys. Yeah, he's still alive a little bit. We finally got him. Dude, oh. that is definitely the big alpha roaming this territory out here, yo. So I'm super happy, man. We got a lot of the females, and this is really who we came out here looking for we saw him at the last minute goes to show like don't ever give up anything can happen at any time Travis, and check it out with the teamwork me joseph using the thermal imaging we were able to get the big godzilla king kong iguana in the back. <laughs> I actually got one. Yeah. Desert, how does it feel man this year you came uh, i think last time you came during the egg season right now it's breeding season yeah. they're a lot tougher this time yeah they're tough uh, i mean we can see right here the big one, orange one. He was he was living he was living right in the playground. Yeah, he was right he was right there in the playground on the on the tree right there. Is that him? Oh my god. Tell him we got him, all right? They said they got him. You gonna come get the rest? We gonna we gonna keep coming back. We will. We're gonna keep catching them all, all right? Take all of them. We're gonna do whatever it takes, all right? Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Hey, check it out, man. We're gonna wrap it up. Uh, huge shout out to our friend Joseph from Texas, man, and his sons for coming out here lending a hand. These boys are thugging it, man. They came out here in sandals. Yeah, he get blood on his feet. Oh, you already washed it off. Yeah. You look at the car and washed it off. Did not complain, guys. They were out here. They were learning. They were seeing. They were shooting. They were spotting. So huge shout out to those boys. Uh, we were able to get. Let's see. We were at 86, guys. So let's go ahead and count the iguanas. We have 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. We were utilizing the tactics of the Burris thermal imaging scope on the rifle. Now, I was able to look through it, but we, I was busy just coming out here and looking for them. But our friend Joseph, he was the one uh, behind the trigger. Joseph, tell me a little bit about your experience doing this, dude. Uh, bring a 22 next time. Bring it. Okay. <laughs> bring, bring a 22 next time. They, they just soaked up those 177s. I mean, we got the job done, as you can see. But during breeding season, man, but you called it, man. They're just tougher than normal right now. They got all that. I don't know what, what you call it for adrenaline or whatever whatever yeah. the chemical hormones you call it. and adrenaline and endorphins so much pumping right now testosterone yeah everything's just pumping through them but it you was were, a blast yeah it was a blast you were able to utilize the the thermal imaging scope to track and hunt the iguanas i don't think that's ever before been done tell me some of the advantages and the disadvantages so the disadvantage i'll start with first here in florida with it being so humid, you know, 95 plus percent humidity yeah thermals always struggle a little bit in that humidity just because humid air holds that temperature more and thermals yeah. they see temperature they yeah. see heat yeah so that wet humid air holds it a little bit more with that said though i was still there wasn't one that i wasn't able to make out or able to make a shot there was quite a few that were hiding in the bushes or the grass that mm -hmm. we didn't make out with our eye i scanned with the thermal and they lit up able to they pick couldn't it up. hide them so that was one of the biggest advantages is just being able to find them when our eyes couldn't find them right away exactly exactly to the naked eye guys iguanas are excellent at camouflaging okay they're green they're orange they blend in perfectly with their surroundings but with the thermal imaging basically it was like looking at white versus black everything else was black and the iguanas were white or vice versa so i think that was really really good way to utilize the Especially technology. when he was hide, the alpha was hiding up in the tree. Got his head versus the other parts super easily. Him to fall out of the tree. Exactly, exactly. That was absolutely insane, y'all. Um, you ready for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> because of us, 
there won't be any iguanas at the playground and when school starts back and resumes the kids will be able to play in a safe and clean environment not worrying about big bad alphas trying to be territorial and dominant so joseph thank you so much thank you, man sir. i appreciate it boys always a pleasure thank you thank you next break next school break we'll come back again yeah. all right let's do it